Hey there, everyone, and welcome to another video. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys another bit of a development update for this um, um, nucleus project that I announced the other day um, because I've added a lot to it uh, since then and it's looking a, sort of better but acting a lot better. And I want to show you guys what I've added so far. Um, so let's get started. I love these macro keys. Alright, so the first thing you'll notice is, of course, that the about screen looks way different. It's no longer really an about screen, it's more of a test of the UI layout system. Um, so you're seeing multiple kinds of layouts here. We've got a vertical um, back panel in the top left corner. We've got a full panel in the top right corner. Got a horizontal stack panel in the bottom right and a text label in the bottom left and all of these are inside a canvas panel which allows you to place controls anywhere inside it given an anchor and an alignment and stuff like that so it's very powerful that canvas um, the scroll panel actually works um, i've fixed bugs with the ui where um, um, user interface widgets would render outside their um, render bounds that has been fixed. I've also fixed issues where um, the input system would register controls that are outside the bounds of their parent as being things you can click on and stuff like that. So that's been fixed, which means scroll panels um, actually work properly and they don't look weird. Um, these buttons down here um, the first button that says source code actually takes you to the GitHub page, and the exit button actually exits the game, um, so that's a thing. Um, now, with the with the layout system, I've added another screen to the game, which is good. Screen transitions actually work. So if we click this button, we get another UI, and this looks kind of crappy, the naked eye. But um, if we if we actually pay attention to what this is, um, we've got a little bit of a panel up here. It's light gray. Um, we've got two buttons. We've got one that says back, um, one that says applications. Uh, we've got a text that says this is a test, and we've got another button that says test. And beside that button, we have a or the current time of day. Um, so what's going on here? Well, this is actually all done by a single stack panel. Okay, I kind of lied. Um, these two buttons right here, the back button and the applications button, are part of the stack panel. Um, then there's another stack panel which contains the this is a test text. And then beside that inner stack panel is the clock here and then another button that says test. Um, so, yeah, mostly all one stack panel. Um, so this is cool. Stack panels now allow you to have controls fill the remainder of the stack panel's space, which is not something you could do previously, and I never implemented that in Peace Engine, so that's, what nu that's something that Nucleus is capable of, which is awesome. Um, so let's switch over to the code, and I'll show you guys how this all works. Um, so we're going to exit the game. Whoops. Right, there we go. There's the code. Um, I'm going to try to keep this on screen here, but um, first things first with the um, about screen, I'm going to show you guys what the layout looks like. Um, so we've got various um, panels and buttons and stuff like that. And, all this really is is me setting up a canvas panel, setting the margin to 15 units, and adding the different controls to it, um, and setting all those controls up. That's basically all this really is. Um, this could be done in a visual designer if I felt like implementing one. Um, the cool part though is I've added a new feature called attached properties. If you've used WPF, you probably know what those are, but if you if not, 
Um, basically, an attached property is a property that isn't native to the control itself. It's native to its parent. Um, so, thing is, with um, the canvas panel and things like that, I need a way to be able to set it a child's anchor, or its width, or its height, or whatever. Um, you can't actually, well, it would be very bad to set the width and height and all, all these properties, have them as, um, properties of the control class, because it's not exactly, it's not flexible. Um, if, if you're implementing a new type of layout control that's outside of Nucleus's code, well, where are you going to store those properties? Um, so what attached properties do is they allow you to add additional properties to a control that 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 it doesn't exactly know about that but the parent does know about and that's what this is doing right here. So these that auto size, that alignment, stuff like that. These are attached properties and they're very, very handy. Um so there's a view for the canvas panel. And there's a few for stack, or there's one for stack panel. Stack panel has its um, size mode as an attached property. So that's a new feature here. That's what allows me to pull all that stuff off, which is cool. Um, if I go into the desktop, or the shell screen as it were, um, this is its layout as well. I've got some buttons, I've got some labels, and some stack panels. Um, so there's also a border, and the border is the background of the desktop panel. Inside the border is a stack panel, and that stack panel has many children, and those children, some of them have size modes of fill. That basically means that the stack panel will say, okay, I have this much space, and all of my children that aren't fill take up this much space. Well, now I have this much space left, so I'm going to give it to this child. And that's what that does, and that's very handy for layout. Um, so if I wanted to, I could actually get rid of the that size mode for the applications button. Comment it out. And I could get rid of it for the um, where is it? Been for it. Um, for the test button, and we'll run the game again. Right. Just gonna make sure that I s I do this right. Right. Apologies for the weird OVS tunnel, I just needed to make sure that macro worked. Alright, so now the applications button no longer fills a lot of the space here. We've got this, this is a te test text, but all the way over here we have our date and time and the test button. And that works, That's, that works perfectly. Um, another demo, of, or another interesting thing, is say I wanted to make that test button or that test text in the center. Let's say I wanted to make that text um, stay in the center of the back panel. Well, all I need to do is at panel buttons dot, or dot horizontal alignment make that equal center and even though the um, panel buttons text or panel buttons stack panel is taking up um, the remainder of that um, fill or that stack panel space um, because I'm a good programmer and the layout system works you'll see that we now have this is a test in the middle of the stack panel whereas before it would have been towards the or towards the left which is awesome exactly how I like my layout system, and I'm, I'm just happy that I programmed it because, well, it's something I can call mine. Um, so yeah, that's 
Um, that is basically me, just my OX system, that's the update I wanted to show. I don't know why OBS keeps doing that, it's really annoying. Um, but, um, the last thing I'm going to show you guys is how unbelievably big the stack panel layout code is. Um, this is the most advanced layout in the game right now. Um, it's five passes. Or the first pass is we get information about each control. Second pass is we um, group all the build remainder controls and all that crap. It, it, it's monstrous. If you want to see the code and how I do it, um, well, it's on GitHub, and I'll have a link in the video description. But anyway, basically it for my um, thing here. <laughs> I'm losing a bit of my focus right now. Um, that's basically it for this update of Nucleus. Um, and hopefully you guys found it kind of interesting. Um, nonetheless, I'm Michael, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.